Welcome to Green Bank Observatory. The universe is whispering to us in West Virginia. Very cool place. Observatory with incredible antenna and telescopes and discovery of radio frequency from other planets to extraterrestrial life. Very interesting scientific. If you scientifically incline, this is on your bucket list must go place. I'm at the Robert C. Bright Green Bank Telescope. It's the largest telescope, movable telescope on the planet that monitors Milky Way and uh, they're looking for the life on the other planets. And uh, they uh, receive the signals from uh, electronic signals, radiation signals from the other planets. And uh, the, the size of this, like two football fields. It's amazing, incredible structure. Make me so proud of human race that they can build this. They can go in space and they can build also this amazing futuristic telescopes. It's worth to check out uh, because it's an incredible spot and I stay here overnight. Uh, no problem. I arrived very late and I could not tour the place. So I stayed on the parking lot until the morning in my camper van. And here I am in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful West Virginia. And also the pine forest. They, they planted a lot of pine forest to buffer a signal around the telescope. And it smells so good. Such a amazing, incredible quality of the air. So good. Yeah, yeah, guys, it's worth to check out. This is cool telescope. Had the reflectors of 200, 2004 aluminum panels. Have so much cool stuff. Hey guys, this is the biggest, the piece of the biggest antenna. That 43 acres. This antenna is looking for another intelligent life outside of our planet like Mars and other planets. Yeah, whatever you believe in aliens or not, well, scientists trying to monitor and see so we can have a heads up if they come in to get you here in the Earth. It's a, such a cool antenna in West Virginia. How cool is that? Super cool, I love it. And they have a free parking RV overnight. Hey guys, this uh, two directional dishes across from each other, they call only whisper. Because when you stand here and you talk, as you can hear, my voice bouncing out from that dish to another. Then in 1937, young scientist Gert Reber, who built this magnificent telescope in his mother backyard, and he became first radio astrophysic because he discovered uh, radio frequency of every on the other planets and the moon and stuff, and it's pretty cool, you know, pretty cool that somebody can start a whole new career. And this, wow, telescope. Somebody can build this in a mother backyard. And it works and make him famous. So if you dream, go for it. Wow, what an incredible place. Highly recommended to visit Green Bank Science Center. Hi guys, this is Directional antenna used to discover of radio emission of extraterrestrial origin by Carl. In wow, it's this antenna was built in 1932 and reconstructed later on for these purposes. This is the first antenna that discovered extraterrestrial radio frequency on other planets. So, where is somebody else? advance as humans that have a radio on other planets. <laughs> Another car 
that discovered this in 1932. He discovered, Karl Jensky discovered this incredible antenna that was uh, listening to radio frequency from other planets as a proof that there is an intelligent life exists on other planets and they transmit radio frequency. Very interesting. Hey guys, if you need a disposable camera or dry freeze food that they take into space, you can buy this.